Hey y'all, it's Kelly here with Adventure Wranglers. Um, it's been a minute, y'all, since um, I just checked in with you guys. Um, it's going to be kind of a eat lunch with me. Um, I've not really been eating anything very exciting. Um, a little backstory. I'm diabetic, and I've been trying to eat better. No, there's no, I have been eating better. I've been making the effort to make smarter choices, to eat less carbs, less sugar, more protein, and green vegetables, you know. So, um, and, uh, I don't know, I'm just feeling really discouraged. I really, today, I'm in a funk kind of mood. Just a funk, I don't know, just, I don't know how to explain it. So, last couple weeks, um, so anyways, my diabetic, I'm diabetic. My numbers are not coming down, even with eating better, cutting the carbs, I'm even cutting dairy. I don't hardly eat milk or cheese or you know, anything like that. So, um, not like I used to. Like, I've had cottage cheese a couple times over the last month or so, but drastically, you know, changed the way I eat. So, today it's nothing special other than some lemon pepper rotisserie chicken. And I have a handful, I have three of the um, sweet peppers. So, that's what we're eating today. And I just felt like I need to just talk to you guys. So, um, so first things first, yeah, let's try this chicken. I cannot do chicken fat. I'm not even sure if I'll upload this video, honestly, because... <clears throat> Oops. I dropped my napkins. Because I feel like in that kind of mood. I just, I don't know how it's going to turn out. You know, I don't want my, my bad vibe to rub off on y'all, you guys. Um, but I'm going to try my best. Um, I... Mmm is so good this is um, a rotisserie chicken a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken from Walmart I got it Monday so this is the third day that I've eaten off of this and I just got a pack of the mini pep sweet peppers and that's what I've been eating this week I haven't really done any good recipes or any good little salads you know like I had done the eat lunch with me before I have a chicken breast, a wing, and a leg. That's what I have left. Well, from the whole chicken. So I'm hoping by eating, focusing more on, you know, whole foods, protein, and I eat veggies. I eat green veggies at night, so we all eat like asparagus, brussels sprouts, cabbage. Um, I made, I haven't posted it yet because I don't, I didn't get to do the finale bowl, <laughs> what it looked like, but I made some um, mustard greens Sunday in the crock pot and I filmed how I cleaned it, did all that, but I didn't get a, what it looked like when we got done to eat or it was done ready for us to eat. So I didn't post that, but yeah, I'm trying to focus on just green veggies with my, you know, dinners at night and just stick to protein during the day. Because if I, it seems like if I eat more veggies, like I ate broccoli and cauliflower last night, it just, uh, it like made my stomach very like bloated and this is just water. Just water. Um, anywho. So, I'm trying to stick it to protein. Um, I did post a short uh, yesterday, maybe the day before. Um, every, not every day, but on days that I feel really hungry, I'm not going to deprive myself, you know, like that. I don't feel like that's right. But I want to make sure that what I'm eating is going to be good for my body. So, I want to make sure I get the protein. And so, I did a protein coffee, a decaf K cup with um, a protein shake. And then I asked my doctor, I was like, you know, I'm really trying to make sure I'm eating enough protein and, you know, that through the day that I'm getting what I need. And she says, no, don't force yourself to eat. 
Because there's days where I'm hungry. There's days, meals that I'm not hungry. Mm. Because um, she put me on a new medicine, an additional medicine for my diabetes. I can't remember what it was called. It's a shot. I take it once a week. What is it? Manjaro? Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people use that Trulicity, Manjaro and stuff to lose weight, which is fine if that's, you know, what you need it for. But in my case, I'm diabetic and I'm become, I'm insulin resistant and my liver shows, my pancreas shows, you know, all my blood work is showing those things. So she prescribed this medicine to me, um... Let's see, I think I'm on mm, 10 weeks now. Because each box that you get, you get four shots. And I've done two boxes. So, mm, yeah, something like that. Y'all, I can't use this fork. I'm just going to use my hands. But in my case, I truly need the medicine because of my diabetes. So sometimes that can upset my stomach. What's well, like on day when I first started out, you know, I was on the lowest whatever, 2.5 milligram. I'm just picking meat off this chicken. <laughs> um, and it was fine. I, she told me to give it to my stomach. You know, and I had very mild symptoms. And my... Excuse me. Um, my sugar levels weren't changing. So I told her, I said, or, you know, I talked to my doctor, and she said, just stick with it. You know, I explained to her my, what my diet consists of. She said, just keep doing what you're doing, you know, and let's just, let's just keep doing it and see what we get. So... When I went for my checkup, we talked. I mean, my weight really had stayed the same. I don't understand why I'm not losing weight because, I mean, I've been doing this for getting healthier. I mean, probably like six months now. Making a conscious effort. Um... Because I have um, nodules on my thyroid. So I have issues with my thyroid. So I knew. I'm like, okay, I need to eat better. I'm diabetic. I need to lose weight. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like keto. <laughs> I mean, I'm not hardcore. I just told myself, Kelly, you, know, you need to make better choices about food. You know, back to basics. Protein and green veggies. You know, limit your carbs, limit your sugars. The basis, you know, just eat better and be more active, which we are very active. We're an active family. But y'all, it's been so stinking hot. Like 115 for like three weeks now. Triple digits. And so blasted hot that you can't even hardly do anything outside without thinking you're gonna die. I mean, unless you're in the water. So, anywho, I was kind of all over the place. I'm still eating on this breast, <laughs> you know. Um. So my last appointment, 
two weeks ago, she upped my dosage to a five milligram or at five. And, oh, I completely got off track. When I was on the 2.5, the first three weeks, absolutely no symptoms. I was like, okay, wow, well, most people have symptoms with starting a new medicine and whatever. Week three, I noticed by like day three to four within the week, after I had given myself a shot, I started getting like egg burps, like a soured stomach. So I switched. It says you can give it to yourself, you know, in the leg. So I started doing it in the leg for like three weeks. And it was worse. It went from just having a soured stomach to having severe um, bloating and gas and just a yucky stomach, you know. And that was not fun. So I talked to my doctor and she says, well, it could be a side effect. You know, make sure you're not eating, you know, the, the foods that you're not. You're going against the medicine. I said, I'm not. I don't eat fried food. I don't eat. I don't, I just don't. <laughs> I've really never big, been a big fried food eater. I would rather my, my meat to be grilled and vegetables. I mean, every now and then I might have a bite like the kids macaroni and cheese or you know something like that but I don't make that my meal just a bite so anyways went up the prescription dosage to five and I went back to the injection in my stomach this week the symptoms have been very mild I, I give myself a shot. I take the shot on Saturday. Sunday, I had a little bit of very mild, like, I call them egg burps, like soured stomach. Sunday. And then that's been about it. Monday, it was fine. I've been fine ever since. So, up the dosage and I'm back to giving the shot, this, the shot to, in my stomach. But I'm still not losing a weight. Which would be nice. My blood sugar numbers are slowly getting better. But not, it ain't no miracle. <laughs> but. And just, you know, regular life stress, work stress. I've just been kind of down and out, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Do y'all ever get in those moods? Like, it seems like the older I get, my body gets very sensitive to the moon cycles. And I don't really know much. I'm not one of those to pay attention to your horoscopes and things like that. I just, I don't know. I've never really, I don't know. It's not my thing. But something that I have noticed is that, I'm moving on to the wing now. Um, something that I have noticed as I get older that my body has become very sensitive to the cycles of the moon. Like today is a new moon. Today is August the 16th. So I don't know if that has something to do with my mood. And I'm, I've, I'm <laughs> so I don't know. But I hope it changes. I really hope it does. Um Yeah. <laughs> we'll just excuse me, we'll just take it as it comes. I'm gonna keep eating good. Eating my protein, you know, and all that. But uh, what I was going to say is, one thing my doctor told me is, never force yourself to eat. You know, if it's not going to hurt you to miss 
a meal or two. Obviously, I have some reserve. <laughs> and I kind of laughed at her. I mean, she wasn't being mean, but it was the facts. Mm-hmm. My peppers are over here. These are so good. I really like these peppers. I like to dip them in cream cheese and put everything season, everything bagel season on. The other day I tried it with um, cottage cheese because that's what I had at work. I didn't like this thing. It's not the same thing. Because I really like cottage cheese and grapes. But because I am... I'm going to peel out the seeds because I don't want to eat the seeds. So I just peel them out and put them on a napkin over here. It is not the same. So I don't like it with cottage cheese. Oh, I know. I like cottage cheese and grapes, but... Grapes have too much sugar, too many carbs, so I was trying to eliminate that. And, um, so I still eat cottage cheese every now and then, but I didn't like them with my peppers. We tried to plant these at home, these seeds. Nothing ever come out of it. When the girls had guinea pigs, my girl, my daughters, They had two guinea pigs, both males, but um, their names were Pinky and Brain. Right? Hell original. <laughs> um, they love those. I absolutely love those. And this rotisserie chicken is so good. Even three days later. It's, <clears throat> it is good. The flavor is so good. They really... Really knocked it out of the park. Good job, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. And I haven't been sleeping in. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm down to just my leg now. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. Alright, maybe we can get a thumbnail off that. <sighs> Whoops. I was about to lose it. I just don't want the chicken fat. Ugh. So slimy. I'm just sitting in my car at work, just enjoying my break. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wonder, I'm really ready for some cool weather, y'all. It's 106 degrees right now. 106. Why so hot? Oh. I'm like a napkin fanatic. Once the napkin gets kind of yucky like that, I'm done for. You need a new one. <laughs> My husband always teased me about using too many napkins. I have to be clean. Pause. Mm. All right. Well, I'm about done with my chicken. Thanks for uh, listening to me, y'all. <laughs> 
things will always get better. It, it's gonna be. I'm just gonna ride out this storm. Keep my head down, get focused, and as God says, this too shall pass. So, hope you are having a great week so far. And uh, what are y'all eating for lunch today? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for eating lunch with me. We haven't eaten lunch together in a while. So, until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>